Hi there. I'll be giving a demo of our Android Bright Arrow mobile app, specifically the Bright Chat features. Bright Chat is our new instant messaging feature available for iPhone and Android, which provides a platform for efficient two-way communication. Bright Chat makes it easy for administrators, teachers, and even coaches to communicate with parents and students. For the purpose of this demo, we will focus on the perspectives of teacher and student. So here on the left, we have an example of a teacher using the app. For most student information systems, such as Blackboard, PowerSchool, Infinite Campus, Skyward, DASL, and many more, your list will be automatically populated and synced with your class roster information. If your organization is not a school, you can populate your list by uploading a spreadsheet or even by entering the information manually. In this example, we have a teacher, Peggy Anderson, with several different math classes. But it's important to note that lists do not have to pertain to classes. You could have a list of all staff or all students or parents, for example. In order to configure and manage your lists, you'll need to use our web interface. If you are not currently a Bright Arrow customer or user, you might not know about how our main notification system works, so I'll explain that part first before diving into the Bright Chat features. All Bright Arrow teachers and administrators can use this app and BrightChat users use the same app but have access to the additional instant messaging functionality. Through our mobile app, teachers are able to select a list or individual contacts from a list and send a notification or announcement to those people. As a teacher, I want to reach out to a couple of my students. So I'll select a couple individual contacts from a list and then I'll move forward to creating my message. So I'm going to choose to notify these students through email and text message. By the way, if the students already have the app installed, they should receive a push notification instead of an SMS text message. So I'm going to write an announcement here. and then we'll just send it out. So this phone on the right would be an example of a parent or student running the app. So now that I've refreshed my messages, I see the announcement from my teacher, Peggy Anderson, in my new messages. And when I click on this, I see the content of the message, and I even have the option to click this chat button to initiate a bright chat conversation with her. Even though Peggy sent this announcement to several people, I can only respond to her privately. So when I click this, it pops me into a private conversation with my teacher. Now let's go back to Peggy Anderson's phone and invite a class for a group Bright Chat. So I'll select, I'll select a list and this time We'll just proceed with the contacts that are already selected in this list. And I'm going to choose Invite for Bright Chat. You'll see that this time there are only two message type options, email and text, compared to the additional voice and social media options for regular notifications. The students in Peggy's class will receive an email and text message or push notification informing them that Peggy Anderson invites them to Bright Chat. If they don't have the app installed, there will be a link for them to download the app. So I'm going to give this Bright Chat a topic. This will essentially be the name of the Bright Chat conversation. So I'm going to call it Mathletes Club. And I can personalize this message as it, or leave it as is, and then send it out. So now I'm going to go back to the student's phone and refresh my messages. And I see Mathletes Club invites list. So I'm gonna click on that invite and I see two buttons this time, chat with group and chat privately. If I choose chat privately, then 
It will either create or redirect me to my private conversation with Peggy without the rest of the group. If I click on the chat with group button, it will pop me into this Mathletes Club Bright Chat conversation. Any message that is sent to the group will be visible to all group members. Once a message has been sent, it's there for good. It cannot be edited or, or deleted. Parents or students are only able to initiate conversations with their teacher, and there is no way for parents or students to reach out to other parents or students privately. It's also important to note that parents and students do not have access to any of their teacher's personal contact information. The only way that parents and students can communicate with their teacher is through the app. With that being said, I'll go ahead and click on chat with group. And I'm gonna, gonna send a message here. So this is an example of what the back and forth communication looks like. Every time you receive a Bright Chat instant message, you will also receive a push notification. It will tell you who sent it and what the message says. Now I'll go back and I'll click chat privately. We've seen this before. This is the same conversation that I was redirected to earlier when I clicked on Peggy Anderson's announcement and wanted to chat with her about the homework. I'll take this time to show, you, to show you the attachment options within a Bright Chat. If we click this paperclip icon, we'll have some options. We can use our camera, we can attach a file, we can record an audio message, and we can, yeah, we can even upload videos, Microsoft Word documents, PDFs, which would be really useful for a teacher. And that pretty much wraps up the ways that you and your organization would use Bright Arrow's Bright Chat features on the mobile app. One last important component that I'd like to point out is the Bright Chat logs page in our web interface. Through this management page, administrators who are granted the necessary authority have access to all message history organized by sender. In this case, the term sender would refer to a, a teacher or administrator. This page is useful for general auditing purposes. So I'll go ahead and select Peggy Anderson's name from the drop-down list. So now we see all of her conversations, private one-on-ones as well as group bright chats. We can select a bright chat and read through the message history and even download any attachments that were sent. We can export any of these conversations by clicking on the checkbox to the left of the Bright Chat. We can export to Excel or PDF files. Teachers are also able to close a conversation through this interface. For example, Peggy Anderson has created the Bright Chat project presentations, but the presentations have now finished and there's no longer a need for the Bright Chat. We will select this conversation and close it out. By closing this conversation, all message history will remain, but no new messages will be able to be sent to the group. And that's all I have for now. As we add new features to our app, we will update this video demonstration to better help you use our system. Thank you for listening, and please let me know if you have any questions. Visit our website at www.brightarrow.com for more information or contact sales at brightarrow.com to set up a live webinar demonstration.